Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through a Java AWT menu items and menu. So basically, this is a important concept, guys. I think whenever you visit some websites, even I think I used to have a website previously. If you have visited that website, also you'll be having a clear idea on this, guys. So if you keep the mouse on one sub menu, so let us assume my website only. That will be the best way. So previous semester we used I used to use that website for using the for saving the files. So basically when you keep on OU, you'll be having the first thing menu, you'll be having OU. Once you place on OU, you'll be having the years list, guys. Year one, year two, year three, and year four. If you select year two, keep the mouse on year two, it will be dropping two menus, two sub menus. That is nothing but semester three and semester four. So whenever you place on semester 4, the 6 subjects will be coming out. On semester 4, the 6 subjects will be coming out down. So like this, this is how the menu will be working guys. In menu, you may have sub menu. Like that, it's a chain process until where you stop. So this construction of these things are really, really simple and easy guys. So basically, the object of main menu classes adds a simple label menu item on menu. The item used in the menu must belong to the main menu or any of its sub menu fine okay so while we are going through the example you'll be having a clear idea guys don't worry okay so basically we will be going through directly to the example guys this example may seems to be really large but it's really clear and simple guys there is nothing in that fine so initially we'll be importing the awt files we have written class menu example so we have returned the constructor so we have initialized the frame, we have declared the frame with menu and menu item example, fine. So we have, we are creating menu bar and menu and sub menu guys, fine. So menu bar MP is equals to menu bar. So menu bar is nothing but this bar guys. So the diagram, if you just observe it clearly, here there will be a bar. Here there will be some menus according to your creations. So I have created only a single menu, so I got only one menu. So menu menu is equals to new menu menu fine so the name is menu so I created another menu that is sub menu the name of it is so new sub menu the name fine so this whole is our sub menu guys this is our sub menu I think the image is a bit blur right there okay it's okay so that highlighted one is sub menu fine so now we are creating some menu items menu item i1 is equals to new menu item item 1 item 2 item 3 item 4 item 5 so now I'll be adding I1, I2, I3 to the menu add. So in menu, I added item 1, item 2 and item 3. Whereas I'll be adding item 4 and 5 to the sub menu guys. Sub menu add item 4, sub menu add item 5. So that's how I managed to add the all the items and few items here and few items in the sub menu. Fine. Okay. So now I have successfully added them. So now... I will be adding all these into our main menu that is nothing but into our menu bar first. So we have added them here to the menu bar. So now we will be adding all these menu bar and everything to the frame. So we have added them. So finally we will be aligning the size of that menu sorry the size of that frame. So after that we will be making the layout to be null visibility to be true and we will be starting the public static void main then we will be giving it calling it using the constructor fine. So if you try to get the output for that, the output will be like this guys. You'll be having a bar that is nothing but menu bar. So we'll be having a menu in that you'll be having three items. After that, the sub menu will be popping up. You'll be having two items in the sub menu. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on menu and menu list. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through Java AWT dialogues guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.